Good greetings everyone, I'm Rusty Dog and this is Hitman 2 and I'm about to undertake an elusive target uh, which will stay open in the game for 16 days so I'm going to do it now while I have a moment uh, it might take more than a moment though because this is looks like it's going to be quite the mission uh, as I'll play the video for you as we just click into this and we'll see what the mission is now um, there's a few ways to do this, but what you should know about the um, elusive targets is that you only get one chance at doing it. If you fail, then you actually fail, and you cannot get to replay this mission ever again, ever. I don't know why they can't allow you to replay it, but not have it count for anything. You know, so even if you take down the target, it doesn't count as a mission successful um, even though it is within itself a successful mission <clears throat> it doesn't get counted towards your list of elusive targets that you've killed before it'll still come up as a fail but I think it, they should allow you to replay this um, or maybe just say okay in six months time we'll release the elusive targets again for a second play around but this time you can play it as many times as you want so just let the first time that you play it count and it, and if you fail well any time after that it doesn't it doesn't count for nothing other than your own satisfaction and even if you succeed you know to allow you to play it again maybe you want to do it a different way because in this mission as you're going to see there are more than one ways to skin a cat here um, and it would really be nice to to be able to replay these even if it even if it doesn't count for anything even if it doesn't doesn't go towards you know you getting extra xp or mastery levels it doesn't count for anything i'd i'd like that just to be able to play it again anyway let's get on with the video <clears throat> so we can see what this is all about this one might ring a bell 47 your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with a target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. Or infiltrate through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself. Or rig the room to your advantage and leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. I feel I'm repeating myself a little bit here, but please make sure he doesn't come back again. Good luck. That has got to be the best mission intro that's ever happened on Hitman 2. It looks fascinating. <coughs> the sniper idea, smuggling a sniper rifle in, getting into the control room past the security, sounds awesome. I'd love to do that. Probably, I probably will do that. But the one about sneaking into the weapons room, deton uh, setting that detonator off, that sounds fascinating as well. But if the sniper doesn't work out, I might be able to still do that. 
and there's a contact in the building that's going to give me some disguise to get through the building let's have a look at that one as well but <clears throat> either way i'm going to be bringing that sniper rifle with me so once we kick off the mission um once it gets going that's it you cannot turn it back so i'm just going to make sure that my my gear here is going to be the lockpick because there's a lots of locked doors around Miami so I want the lockpick now the smuggled item has got to be the sniper rifle and that will come in a suitcase um, actually but maybe not there sniper rifle and I want the Seeker Ghost because this one is absolutely incredible rifle. You're not going to miss with it. And it's silenced as well. This one isn't. Okay, now my starting location. I can only start at the fountain. Which means I'm, only, I'm starting in my suit whether I like it or not. I can choose different suits but in Miami... Oh, I could wear the flamingo suit, yeah. Start start with that. What if I should wear the cowboy suit? Okay. Let's do it. Now, I may have to stop this mission um, or pause it at some point during the gameplay. I will edit that out if I need to do that because I'm waiting on a delivery. I've just ordered a TV, which I need in my front room or living room, and that's got uh, a little bit of time to go. They've got 18 more deliveries before they reach me. Um, so yeah, this is a pre-recorded video anyway, so... Okay, so elusive target then, you must begin the contract before the countdown expires, in other words, the 16 days. If you die, you may not retry the contract. <sighs> Again, you know, I understand that's all what an elusive target is all about, <clears throat> but I think it should be changed. I think is if you die, you can, you know, you can retry the contract, but it will not count for anything. It still counts as a fail even though you complete it at a later time. Um, it, like, it doesn't count towards your list of confirmed elusive target kills. I don't know why they don't do that. Once you've completed the contract and successfully exited, you may not retry the contract. Once you have begun to complete objectives, you may no longer restart the contract. Plan accordingly. Once you have begun to complete objectives, that's when you can't restart the contract. So plan accordingly. You cannot save your game while playing an elusive target. The contract brief briefing may contain additional fail conditions. <sighs> I get I get irritated when I fail these ones. You've got to tiptoe so carefully. But that's what I like about this is the challenge of it. Now, if we're starting near the Dolphin uh, place, then uh, the Kronstadt building is right next door, which Good means... Afternoon, 47. Your target is already inside the Miami Bayside Center. Faber has a full day of meetings planned, and we do not want to risk losing him. Take your time with this one. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is go to the map and just make sure that where my, uh, my rifle is. Okay, so it's on the, it's on the parking lot below. Okay, I know where to get that. Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. Let's do this already. Maybe we should pick up the uh, sniper rifle first, but let's get you this done. Be Dave Reddy. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Okay, so like I told your superiors, I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. Uh, but uh, you can't go in dressed like that. 
You'll need to look like an engineer or one of the lab guys or or a guard, I guess. I'll work something out. Good. I'll wait for you here. Don't take too long. They're expecting us upstairs in the conference room. The ICA has struck a deal with Dave Reddy, one of the two men your target has come to Miami to meet with. Reddy got in some trouble with the Moreno cartel, and the ICA has promised to clear it up for him if he helps us get close to Mark Faber. Reddy is currently waiting for you in the reception area of the Bayside Center. Right, so it looks like these. this is a bathroom area here, so it looks like he's put a disguise in here. Or, no, this is a moving target. <clears throat> okay. Like I need to get in there then. Right, I don't think I don't think he's gonna be uh, seen from there. If I had to drag him though, I could put him in there. And we have a key card. If I'm gonna drag him, I have to make sure I'm not gonna be seen. So let's do that. Now I might go and get the sniper rifle anyway, because it's in a briefcase, so... I might be able to bring it in with me, but you wouldn't want to shoot with a sniper rifle in How's here. This? Where'd you find that? Never mind, I don't want to know. Let's go. Faber's already expecting us up there. Can't wait to meet him. But if I mess this up, do I still get an opportunity with the sniper rifle? This guy's with me. Looking good today, sir. So, this deal is closed when we enter the room, all right? I get you in, that's all. And then your people take care of my problem. Don't worry. We'll fulfill our end of the bargain. Solid. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. It can't be this all easy. All like the Marinos, it, it was stupid. I thought I could make some quick cash, you know? Buy that yacht, sail a couple of babes to the Caribbean for the summer. Stupid! The Marino cartel is the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere. You don't try to cheat those kind of people. I wish I'd met you a little earlier, buddy. Could've used that advice six months ago, you know? Anyway, we're almost there, so uh, let's put on our game faces. I'm. Ah, there you are. There he is. I expected something different. I'm Mark Faber. Mr. Faber! What an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Dave Reddy, special acquisition gatekeeper working with you on this job. I'd show you my break book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh, uh, I see. I could shoot him right now. I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Oh, man, very alert. Yeah, he's a real fool, though. Maybe I should have brought some poison with me. But if you get seen poisoning the food... Let's proceed. Hey, not a problem, Mark. I should not be able to pick up that screwdriver. Oh, that, oh no, actually, this, I thought it was. It's the knife. All right. Well, let's grab a seat and get this show on the road. Okay, so the consultation is with a man called Pavel Sukov, a relative of your boss's former partner. And four. For the last six months, Sukov has been dishing out malicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. Did some digging, and it turns out he's publishing a book about... So he's got me in the room, but... stop on the growth of our stock. He's been putting out some very quotable things in the media lately. So, Knox is looking to protect the bottom line. This Sukov fella, he's enjoying the limelight. The idea would be to poison something, so if he eats it, he goes to the bathroom to be ill. 
that going to be and then I take him out on the contrary I prefer public consultations nowhere better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle well then this is your bluebird my friend you know what let's try a small exercise you suppose you were sent to kill me we're in this meeting together you're sitting there in the chair waiting for your moment how would you kill me? What's the plan? I can't really talk to you, can I? I think I need to stretch Greetings, my legs sir. for a few. Yes, I'm standing right here, sir. Please step out of my bubble. Hey, how you doing? I've got a new act lined up. You've reviewed the plans. It's very public because the target is public. I want a big audience for this one. I'd hire extras as props, telling them it's for a TV show. Add cameras for effect. Getting their assassin in place is all down to social engineering, and that's my headache, not yours. Just make sure. There's a weapons room, I think, to my left. But there's one guy in there who's going to recognize me as being in a disguise. Didn't see those coming. Sorry, sir. I can't let you through here. Please move on. I just picked up an illegal item. I hope I'm not compromised, otherwise I'm gonna to need to get the hell out of here. Unseen. No, I'm okay. I'm going to try and go back in the room. Only if he's going to come back in here. There's nothing I can do in here, really. in there then I think the sniper rifle is going to be the approach what am I supposed to do with this thing stab the man we had some difficulty accommodating the, the exact design requirements unless I get another disguise to get me in there like security Um, right, let's go and, oops, I need to go and pick up the, uh, sniper. Not too bothered about the camera recordings. I'm not wanted or anything, so I should be okay. Uh, if I go down, keep going down, I might get to the parking area, which is where the sniper rifle is. Uh, okay. I 
don't know I shouldn't be in here. Oh, there's a... Oh, he's asleep, look. I can disable the security systems. I could even knock him out and take his disguise, but I don't really need him as of yet. Now, my sniper rifle is right here. In the van. So. I know, I, I think I know where I need to go. <coughs> In the watchtower thing. I might need to watch the video again. Where am I facing? Okay, I need to be going to the right. So, 180 degrees, and then all the way to the end. Oh yes, of course him. I can get into a lot of places disguised as him. The mascot. This is why I needed a lockpick. Normally reserved for the drivers. Fix me right up. What? Like roping? No, it's for after the race. Now, if that's where he's going to be... Hmm. I may have to watch the video to get a clue as to where to, to go, but... <laughs> I, love, I love how the case falls over sometimes, but not always. Now this is a Kronstadt building, and I'm a Kronstadt engineer, so why am I trespassing? And Moses Lee crossed the line first! So, oh, that's it, folks! Moses Lee and Team Calhoun just killed it! Way too risky, this. Okay, I'm just going to hide out in here and take another look at the video. This one might ring a bell, 47. I just want to see where the overlooking favor, point is as the for the sniper. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin. Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. Race view, there you go, As behind you know, the demo room. Our inside man is meeting with the target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. The race tower. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. Or infiltrate through... The race tower so the actual building that he's gonna be in 
is that's the Kronstadt building there. I think it's up here. This is where the winner's podium is, so I might need to be... Might be this grey area here, although I don't... This is the track. So I would have thought that the lookout point would be here. That's it, this. That's the podium. No, that's the podium. <coughs> oh... Let's see if I can come out of a door here and go across by the hotel and go over here. Hmm. I have to do a little bit sneaky. Sneaky walking around. And I need to get out. Yeah. And if I do, there's a guy right there. Am I still trespassing? No. So, it might be... I don't think it is though, because... I don't recall there being any security up here. But it might be this. I'm trespassing there, does that say...? Oh, okay. No one can really see me. We still have a little time before our champion reaches the podium. Ah. Let's hope it's not like last year. I think that's it. Keep your that's the building those. right there. Please. Just beyond the flags. That's going to be fun. I may need a different disguise for that. Get over there. How you been? Hmm. How nice to see you. Do you recognize me? Good to see you, sir. The hell's all this? Uh huh. Right, so I'm not really allowed in here. But he is. Funny anecdote. Saw the flamingo mask backstage this morning. Turns out that before joining the We'll go through here and out here. I should be okay again. So the building is up here then. Oh, I need to be up there. Make sure to get your selfie before the show's over. Now, the, the security systems are all disabled, but nobody should see me opening the door, really. <laughs> oh, I'm actually questioning whether... The, yeah, that that's it. There you go, up there. That's where I need to be. So there's two people in here to, to take out. I can do that. I don't know whether anybody else comes in here. There he is, there's the guy. There's the guy, he's in the building. I can see him across in that window. I can see his eye patch. Okay. Right, let's see if this works. Jesus Christ, that's gonna hurt her. Almost there, folks. Almost. It's time to get your cameras in full grip and fire away. Get that killer shot to impress your family and friends. 
But what I can do is disguise as a race coordinator, take the shot, I could even hide in that box and I could take the shot and just change my disguise before I uh, leave. I have to wait for him to come back now, though. Now, I don't know whether anyone's going to come up here. If this is it, this is going to be a fairly simple mission. But the uh, the briefing looked amazing. I could trigger the fire alarm, couldn't I, when I take the shot and then just leave in the melee. Doesn't look like anyone's coming up though. When you go into this in instinct mode, the elusive targets don't light up at all. Oh look, there's the uh, winners on the podium there, look. And I could shoot down the speakers. So that somebody dies in an accident. Now these guys are just knocked out, I haven't killed them, so it shouldn't affect my score. What a shame that the guy was there just as I walked in, so I don't know how long I'm going to have to wait now until he goes back in this office. Yeah, remember he was meeting with that guy, remember? The one whose key card I stole. I don't think he's going to be in that window. As you can see, you can really zoom in on with this sniper rifle. And it's totally silent. Look at that plant there. <laughs> it's, it's well in the distance. Is the can still here? Because I could... Where's the can that I smacked him with? up while I'm here. And I can even put the, the when I'm done I could even put the sniper right back in the briefcase. Before I leave, and even leave with it. I wonder if he's up there. Yeah, he might be in that top window. Time the shot perfectly, she said. No problem. There he is. Target eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. Now I gotta get money out. Is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. My heart's beating. My heart's beating quite fast.
and in an exit. That one's locked for whatever reason. They actually might come running around here, so I'm going to have to be careful. Guards might come running around here to see what's going on. But there's no indication that his body's even been found yet. We just got to get to those gates, guys. Well, I have to say the sniper, the sniper variation of this was the easiest. Wow, that's it, just like that. Half an hour. I wish it was a bit more of a challenge. I mean, maybe the other methods were more of a challenge. Um, yeah, maybe they would have been better. Arming that bomb or whatever. Not bad, though. Not bad at all. Oh, I've got I've got my uh, a new a new <laughs> unlock. Same as same disguise as the original uh, starting suit, but this time with the gloves. No belt. You better look better with a belt on, and maybe take the t-shirt out instead of having it tucked in. A small toy robot with a light bulb as a head. Little flashy will attract anyone nearby. Will blow up in a big flash when detonated. Ooh, nice. And that is it. Done. There we go. All right. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.